Hello and welcome to Duke's Eyeglass Education. I'm an optician licensed by the American Board of Optometry. I work in the optical department of a big box warehouse. I sold my very first pair of glasses in 1995 and since then I've sold and dispensed more than 50,000 pairs of glasses. Today we're going to talk about progressive lenses. I'm going to tell you what they are and how they work. Progressive lenses are what are commonly referred to as no-line bifocals. What they do is they blend from one prescription to the next. So you get distance, you get mid-range, and you get reading all in one pair of glasses. Up till now, maybe you've worn just distance glasses or just reading glasses, or maybe you've worn no glasses at all. What the progressive lens allows you to do is have all three focal lengths in one pair of glasses. So you get distance, you can get mid-range, which is dashboard or computer, and you can get reading all in one pair of glasses. Here's how a progressive lens works. You get your distance vision in this circle, and then it blends down to your reading vision which is in this circle. In the area in between, you get what's called your mid-range. The very first multifocal was invented in the 18th century by Benjamin Franklin. Today we call it the standard bifocal, flat top 28, or what it's most commonly referred to as the lined bifocal. With the standard bifocal, you get your distance vision, and then we place a 28 millimeter reading segment below your bottom eyelid that's shaped like an upside down D. Here are the pros and cons of the progressive lens versus the standard bifocal lens. In the progressive lens, your distance is only in a circle about this size. With the bifocal, your distance vision goes all the way across the lens. With the progressive lens, your reading is only in a 9mm area, as opposed to the bifocal, where the reading area is three times as wide at 28mm. With the progressive lens, your vision blends seamlessly from distance to reading. With the bifocal, you get what's called image jump from distance to reading and then from reading to distance. With the progressive lens, your peripheral vision's only about that wide. It doesn't go all the way across the lens. With the bifocal, your distance vision does go all the way across the lens and you get a much wider reading area. If you decide to get progressive lenses, when you're being fit for them, your optician is going to dot where your pupil looks through your frame. That's where your distance prescription is going to be, and it's going to be in a circle about the size of your iris. It doesn't go all the way across the lens like your distance glasses, single visions are. So what you've got to do with the progressive is look through that little circle. So what I'll tell you as a first timer is, aim your nose at what you want to look at. So if you're driving, there's a sign to your right, you're getting used to turning and looking at things more so than you did with just your distance glasses or no glasses at all. If there's a sign to your left, you're turning and looking right at that sign. So for your distance vision on a progressive, you're getting used to moving your head from side to side to keep your vision at its sharpest. If you look through the corners of your eyes, it's going to blur a little bit because the prescription's not centered there. So always looking straight ahead, aiming your nose at what you want to look at, and things will always look their clearest for your distance vision. To read, your normal reaction is to look down at what you want to read. But with the progressive, what you're going to do is unlearn that normal reaction, and you want to hold your head straight and move your eyes down to the bottom of the lens where your reading area is. So you're moving your eyes down and you want to hold what you want to read in between where your eyes converge. So down and in, and then you're moving your eyes 
and you find the blend. You follow the blend down and then you'll find your sweet spot. And then you'll learn where to hold things when you want to read them. One nice thing about progressives, they blend from your distance to your reading. And in between your distance and your reading, you'll get what's called mid-range, which would be, say, your dashboard or a computer. But if you want to use your progressives on the computer, you're going to have to look slightly down at it. So looking straight at a monitor, they're not going to work so well. You'll have to tip your head up, which is going to hurt your neck if you're doing it for long periods of time. There is what is called an office or computer progressive that I'll discuss in a future episode. Here are some tips for picking out a frame on your first pair of progressives. Typically, metal frames with a nose piece will work better because it gives us adjustability to move things up, down, in and out to make sure that you can see all the different focal lengths on your pair of glasses. You can get progressive lenses in plastic frames, but one thing you want to be concerned about is you want to be able to see the bottom of the frame so you can see the reading area. A lot of ladies today like to wear big oversized plastic frames, but you've got to see the bottom of the frame. If it's sitting so far down to your cheek, you may have trouble seeing the reading and then have to push the frame up to read, which defeats the purpose of having the progressives in the first place. So what you want to do is make sure you can see the bottom of the frame and make sure that the frame's not sitting so close to your cheek that you don't get a good angle to see the reading down here. So if you look at this frame, it's almost a little too big for me to see the reading. I would have to tilt my head up to see things and you don't want to do that because you're going to get a sore neck doing that all day long. All right, so you've ordered the progressive lenses and they've come into your store. What you want to do is always go in and pick them up yourself. Don't send someone else to pick them up. Go in and get them yourself so you and your optician can adjust them and make sure what's called your seg height is in the correct adjustment. Because if the spot where your pupil is isn't in alignment, it's going to throw things off and things are not going to work correctly. So always go in and pick up your progressive lenses by yourself. One of the best tips I can give you for taking care of your progressive lenses are always use two hands when you take them on and take them off. You want your pupil to sit in the same place on the lens at all times. If you use one hand and you pull it off that way all the time, you're going to throw off the orientation on your progressive and your blend's not going to be in the right place. So always use two hands when you take them on and take them off. Getting adjusted to wearing progressive lenses may take you a little while, but it's kind of like riding a bike. Once your eyes and your brain figure out where to look through the lens to get the focal length that you need, it'll become second nature and you won't think about it. When you first get them, you may think about it and you have to maybe exaggerate your head movements for your distance and moving your eyes down and thinking about holding your head straight for your reading. But the longer you wear them, the easier it'll become. I've seen people put on progressives for the first time and get it right away. I've seen other people where it sits, maybe takes a few minutes to get it. Other people, it can take a day or maybe up to a week. But what you want to do is think about it and give yourself time to get adjusted to them. When you pick up your glasses, if you don't feel comfortable right away, Take them home and start at home or start fresh first thing in the morning. It'll make a big difference. All right, so let's review. For your distance vision on your progressive lenses, you always want to look straight at what you want to look at. So I'll tell you, point your nose at what you want to look at. Moving your head side to side to see things in their clearest vision. To read, remember, hold your head relatively straight Move your eyes down and hold what you want to read down and in, right in the area where your eyes converge, right in front of you. If you decide to go ahead and get progressive lenses and you understand how they work, they are the most versatile lenses that you can wear. You can keep them on at all times because they give you distance vision, mid-range, and reading, all in one convenient pair of glasses.